Ready? <laughs> so I just got my license. What better way to celebrate than filming on my phone while I'm driving? I'm headed to the storage unit right now because I have to clear out all my inflatables in one of the storage units and take them to another. So I gotta do that right now. Uh, then I have to pick my mom up from the gym. And then after that, uh, I'm not I'm not sure, but this is definitely gonna take some getting used to, but I'm, I'm really happy right now. Got a lot of work though that I gotta do. All right, so this is the new storage unit exclusively for the inflatables and other holiday decor because we have a pool table that was uh, my great grandfather's and it was currently, or it was at my aunt and uncle's house. And now they're moving to a smaller place of residence that, you know, they can no longer store it. So the pool table, I believe is going to be moved into the old storage unit and the inflatables are gonna go into here. Why we can't just put the pool table in here, I don't understand, but I was told to put my inflatables in here. So that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of work, but what I think I'm gonna have going on is the inflatables will be on this side and on this side. So I've got a walk space right here to make grabbing them for holidays a lot easier. So I just sold the Bumble today on Mercari uh, for like 39 bucks plus shipping. And I'm currently cleaning out this box to ship it in. I've had this box in my house for, I think like four years and it just sat there and I saw it and I was like, you know what? I think I could probably fit the Bumble in there. Hopefully I can. And um, we'll see. I'm gonna put this in recycling right now. Move this. All right, so the Bumble is in here and I sold it because not, not that I didn't want to put a new fan on it, but I'd rather get the new one that's hopefully being sold on Hamaker Schlimmer. Actually, not hopefully being sold, but hopefully is not a remake, and it's a new giant bubble design because Lucas asked them, and they said that they were actually going to get one. Yeah, I don't know if this is going to fit. I'll get back, though. I'm going to pause the video. The inflatables in this new box significantly bigger than that one um yeah not quite the dimensions i told mercari or ups we'll see if i get in trouble for that or if they're gonna send it back i don't know i think the weight is right i said about like five pounds So I'm gonna get these two to do a double review on them tonight but I'm pretty sure somebody came in here and sat on the Scarecrow because this is the one that they have ready to go for a display. They're gonna put the NBC Mountain up, the Skeleton Trio, the re-released Reaper Pumpkin, and then the Halloween tree down there. I think these are all for display. But oh my God, this one is like, looks like a hurricane came through and just wrecked it, Jesus. So today I finally 
decided to take out my Easter egg hunt archway that I got from Lucas, the prototype. I got it off of him uh, from Mercari for, I think, around 90 bucks. I can't remember if he charged me for shipping or not, but I think that's a fantastic deal because it's a very, very cool inflatable. It's got a... Thankfully, this is not the fan. This is the fan right here. Looks fine other than a crack right there, but that shouldn't hurt it if I'm just careful with it. And I honestly think it's not gonna be an issue because the gingerbread house that I have, the 2013 one from Lowe's, that fan is cracked as well. One of the reasons why I don't like fans with non-movable legs, uh, that one's cracked and it does fine. So I think it'll be the same scenario uh, with this one. Give you a look at the fan here. But uh, yeah, I'll spread it out and we can go ahead and inflate it. So I've got it standing up here. Uh, it takes a little bit to, any archway honestly, is probably the most tedious type of inflatable to have it standing, you know, without it being staked down at all. And it's no different with this one, getting a first hand look at it right here. I've just had it balanced for the past probably three or four minutes. And of course now it wants to fall over. Uh, the hand-painted features for the Easter egg hunt, uh, the sign, they are chipping away, unfortunately. However, if you're far away from it, I feel like I'm about to lose it. It's leaning back a little bit, but, oh crap. No, no. I'm just gonna hold it for the time being. The blue stripes that are wrapped around uh, each pole of the archway, those are also hand-painted. Other than that though, I think that's the only thing that are actually hand-painted on this inflatable. Uh, oh, actually the uh, the eyes. The eyes are hand painted as well. And the mouth. And the chick's eyes. I should probably just stop talking. Something I absolutely love though is the fact that they have little flower petals for the, uh, the green thin material that's coming down. That looks really good. I wish they actually added a few more though because from the road, it kind of just looks like little white things attached to it here and there. But I feel like if they made it a little bit more abundant, it'd be a little bit more clear as to what it is. It's got a tether loop here same place on the other side this is a great design i cannot believe I, no one chose it i mean if it's from the showroom i don't know where it is but if it's a prototype that no one chose then i don't understand how that's possible has to be one of the coolest easter inflatables ever made just to get an archway for any holiday is cool i hope we get one for fourth of july in the coming years there are two eggs over here and then I think two on the other side as well to keep it even. My God, no! While it's down, it does have some nice, I don't even know what to call that, but it looks good at the top, kind of an architectural little add-on that I think looks really nice. If you want to look at the underneath of the inflatable, there you go. Yeah, there's a green egg over here. I don't think there are any tether loops on this side. No, that's the fan. Way to go. Okay, so it looks like Lucas, I don't know if Lucas did this, but if he did, uh, there is a zip tie here, so you can stick it down on this side because it did not come with tether loops. And there's a zipper right here, actually. I j I'm just now seeing that, but there is a zipper right here. I think that's the only other zipper. I don't think there's another one. No, there's not. So two zippers in total. I don't know how many lights it has. I think it probably has one in each of the characters. And then if it has six, that would be great, but I'm not sure. Or instead of being a lazy bum, I could just feel around to see how many C7s there are. So I thought there were two in the bunny. Uh, I felt two in the bunny, but I don't know if that works its way up the column or not. Not quite sure. I felt one up there in the archway and then another one down by the chick. So I only counted four, but I doubt that there's only four. I feel like there would be more than that. I just missed them. Uh, so I much prefer figuring out how many C7s there are at night rather than being in 95 degree heat with a zipper, you know, looking underneath an inflatable of a cloth laid over you or something. So somewhere around four, probably more than that. It has to be at least four. I know that it can't be less than four, uh, but that's, that's my analysis of the lighting for this inflatable. I'm so high. I literally just want to die. A lot of crap is piled up on me. Today I have to, I actually already got this video filmed for the Harvest Scarecrow truck, uh, but I do have to take it to the storage unit and I have to edit and release the video all today. There's also an NASCAR race, which I really want to watch. It got postponed. It was supposed to be last night. So I had like my 
schedule completely laid out. It was going to be cleared, and not cleared, but still organized somewhat. And then the NASCAR race got postponed, and I really want to watch that live. And like, I'm, I'm too compelled to watch the race for me to do other stuff that is more productive. But I did, however, I sold this, I think, on Thursday, the Hot Cocoa mug. And I've got that in the cardboard box, taking it out of the tote. I still need to pack it up and print out the shipping label and uh, put one of my super sweet cards in there, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I'll put that in there. I have the uh, the six and a half foot tall. This is actually the uh, the Jack and Pumpkins from Lowe's. That took a like a week to arrive. And then I thought that when I saw it, I thought I was the first one to get it. And I was like super excited. And then I realized there was already like some other review on it. I was like, oh, great. Uh, I lost that one too. So the only one that I really have is the Scarecrow truck, the new 2021. I released like a bunch of Walmart videos, as you guys know, just back to back to back. And then I had nothing else to review. So there, there was just this like week long dry spell. So I'm going to try to get this video out. If I get it out Saturday, then there will be technically less than a week than the previous video and this one, uh, cause I released that one Sunday meaning that it would, it would only be six days and not seven days uh, in between this new video and the last video. So that's my goal is that there's never a week or longer in between videos. I really want it to be more even like, okay, you're either going to get a video three to four days after the previous one. <laughs> but with my schedule and my schooling, like I, I can't do that. I can't make that work. And that's on me, but I'm trying, I'm doing my best for you. I actually am going to keep the Walmart box that the truck came in because I think it fits pretty well actually with the pumpkin stack i've had that listed for forever and it still hasn't sold but i'll keep this one anyway because i think that this is actually true recycling if i don't have to spend money on it then yeah i'm, I'm all for keeping this box just having it take up space because that means i won't have to pay however i don't even know how much boxes cost like at walmart so that's all for my day today i still think it's gonna be amazing though